Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and I hope you've had a great weekend. So in today's video, uh, I'll be using a hairdryer. Now for bigger pieces, it's a little bit harder to blow uh, the colors and have nice cells uh, and have it spread enough to the edge. So a hairdryer really helps with that. Uh, so since uh, this is really just a practice piece, I had some leftover colors, so I thought I'd be using that. Uh, I also had some uh, as my base. I'm also recycling some of the paints that I had scraped off, uh, you know, from paintings that I didn't quite like or paintings that, um, you know, when you spin all the painting, that's uh, the paint that just comes off the side. Now for the fake background concept, in, which, in this case I'm using black, I think it's a great way to uh, use your and recycle your old paints. Uh, because if you're putting a different color as a background anyway, there's no sense in uh, putting down a nice fresh white paint because you're going to cover it up anyway. If you're doing a much bigger piece, obviously having the base color to the color that you want would be a lot uh, better. But definitely for smaller pieces, this would be a very inexpensive way of doing it while having the flexibility of choosing different colored background uh, and recycling your paints as well. For the blue out, uh, I've used the lowest setting on the hairdryer, but still I found it quite hard at the beginning to hit the cell activator in the white spot and get it to skim across the paint. So then I started spinning my wheel as I was blowing the paint. And that seemed to have worked a lot better uh, in the end. At the time of doing this painting, I wasn't quite sure whether I liked it, to be honest, uh, because I thought it was, in some places, it was quite dark and it'll be dull. But after spinning it out uh, a bit, it lightened up a lot more and uh, the cell were quite nice. Uh, you know, it could be improved, obviously, but given my, it's my first time, I think that was not a bad piece at all. Now, in a minute, you'll see a close-up of this, but I actually quite like the little pop of yellow. Uh, that you get here and there and pop of red and blues in different colors in different areas so uh, I especially like the TLP uh, sea glass I think that you can see on top of a uh, uh, Persian blue and uh, black background I think those two combination looks really really cool so it was a bit scary to use the hairdryer at the beginning but I think with some practice uh, you know, should be able to move to uh, much bigger pieces, hopefully, in the near future. I hope you have enjoyed this video. So, you know, the usual gist of comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, and I hope to see you next time.